Get ready, boys, because Yongi Ye is once again gonna get really mad and upset about the fact that people who are in great positions in life dare to spend money. Bungie, what utter disgraceful leadership, especially where CEO Pete Parsons is concerned. Destiny 2 is easily one of the most successful live services and in many ways, it's sort of like the mother of looter shooter live services and most recently. One, it's not the most successful, not even by far. Uh, two, it's not the mother of live services. Three, how the hell is it in such a poor quality if it is actually even successful? I don't know. Neither does Young, though. Only with the launch of the final shape, its peak and current players got to almost the same numbers as the all-time peak and beyond that the game has just been doing really well critically speaking the final shape was very well received sitting at an 89 percent generally favorable score from critics and even from users it's been received favorably by all metrics the final shape was a huge success and by all metrics the developers the you know people who by the way, I have watched the Adstacross video on this where we actually go into detail. And no, the final shape is absolutely not even close to a success. But this is going to be the first video because, you know, reasons. We know that this is not true. The final shape has underperformed in sales for, well, reasons I explained in the other video partially. But it's not like Young understands any of this. He's pretty much just bad things bad, communism good. Made the game should be rewarded, but instead... The CEO made the game. He was responsible for all decision making. How the hell is it possible if the company is doing bad, it's the CEO's fault. It's the people, it's, it's the evil greedy people at the top who are making never beer. And when the game does good, oh, it's the it's the guy sweeping the floors from from nine to five. He's the reason this uh, young young. Do you do you even participate in life, or do you just explicitly exist online and buy shit on Amazon? We're seeing yet another round of layoffs, and this is despite the fact that Bungie leadership assured. Back in 2022, when it was acquired by PlayStation and Sony, that this would not result in layoffs or restructuring, except that's correct. This did not actually result in layoffs and restructuring. This is not a lie, but Young doesn't understand that. You see, Bungie actually hired a bunch of people at that period of time. And when that period of time ended, well, they hired people, and now they're laying off which is, has absolutely nothing to do with Sony. Precisely what's happened. Back in 2023, there was mass layoffs at Bungie that left everyone shocked, especially because of past promises. And now we're seeing another round of that with this announcement from July 31st, 2024 from Bungie. Here we have a tweet that reads, this morning we shared an important update. Do you think Young ever and slightly things before speaking i don't with the bungie team on the difficult decision to eliminate 220 roles at bungie you can read the full statement below the individual who wrote the statement was none other than ceo pete parsons and all the blame rightfully so is being shifted to his lackluster abysmal disgraceful leadership now to be fair i do think that everyone in bungie including the ceo and whatnot are idiots it's, it's kind of undeniable at this point. And we already have former employees like Liana Rupert here calling for him to step down. And there's just one. Uh, she got fired. Of course, she's pissed. Of many current and former employees, as well as community members who are saying it's time for this guy to go. So here's the statement in question. This was published via a blog post titled The New Path for Bungie. And Pete talks about how this is a period where they're making some of the most difficult changes they've ever had to make at the studio. My eyes hurt looking at 
this? Why, Yong? Why? Studio, due to rising cost of development and industry shifts, as well as enduring economic conditions, basically the same excuses we have seen from other companies laying off employees after getting overzealous with hiring, especially during the COVID period, when they saw a rising trend due to the fact that people were locked in, expecting that that rising trend would stay only for them to realize that this was just temporary because of the world conditions. It reads right here, beginning today, 220 of our roles will be eliminated, representing roughly 17% no, of our studio's workforce. It'll affect every level of the company, says Pete, including most of our executive and senior leader roles. But you know, okay. the one person this doesn't affect, Pete Parsons, who is still- Wow, no shit. <laughs> what did you want to do? What did, what, what did he want, honestly? Him to fire himself and put the janitor in his stead? Well, what was the end game here, Yong, with this outrage? Well, what exactly did you expect to happen? Well, somehow, the CEO of Bungie, despite his failures, he says we'll be offering generous exit package, including severance, bonus, and health coverage. Ew. And he says right here, I realize all this is hard news, especially following the success we have seen with the final shape. They made a really successful product. And when even that's not enough to be a shield for layoffs, for that to be enough for a company to be healthy, then there's just something fucked up about the structure. God, Young is so stupid. He is, uh, he is getting two things mixed up. Success with people liking something. I like my poop when I poop it out because that's just how uh, shitting works, you know. But that doesn't mean it's gonna be. If I, I can't sell it in an auction, you know. The fact that you like something doesn't mean it's successful structure and the system and the pipelines and uh, you know the financial plans surrounding a company that clearly chewed on more than i really really do not think young yeah has any idea what a financial plan is and what any of these big words mean they could swallow because of leadership that just had such a lack of foresight it reads right here that after exhausting all other mitigation options this has become a necessary i'm pretty sure it's not leadership's fault that new player experience and destiny is atrocious our decision to refocus our studio and our business with more realistic goals and viable financials realistic goals and viable financials if only that were just something that major companies kept in mind but instead they have this like relentless pursuit for unsustainable infinite growth and when that unsustainable goal is not a imagine wanting to actually do better holy that's that young, young literally cannot understand the concept of maybe you can do better obtained the ones who pay for it are the employees and not the leaders chasing this ridiculous trend. There's talk here of how on top of the layoffs, there's gonna be integration with Sony Interactive Entertainment, working to integrate 155 of their roles, roughly 12% into SIE over the next few quarters. And they're also working with PlayStation Studios leadership to spin out one of their incubation projects, an action game set in a brand new science fantasy universe to form a new studio within PlayStation Studios to continue its promising development. And then there's one big chunk here that talks about how we got here, trying to explain the situation, saying that for over five years, it has been our goal to ship games in three enduring global franchises. To realize that ambition, we set up several incubation projects, each seated with senior development leaders from our existing teams. We eventually realized that this model stretched our talent too thin, too quickly. It also forced our studio support structures. Uh, I was going to say, if you, uh, I wonder if Yong Yeah is going to be able to understand why this is actually a failure in leadership and explain it. But I, I guess when it's expl- Wait! Yong Yeah is someone who could get the answer put right in front of him, but still fail to grasp it. Let's see. ...to scale to a larger level than we could realistically support, given our two primary products in development, Destiny and Marathon. In 2023, our rapid expansion ran headlong into a broad economic slowdown, a sharp downturn in the games industry, our quality miss with Destiny 2 Lightfall, and the need to give both the final shape and Marathon the time. Make the most woke expansion of all time. Well, shit, people didn't like it. Who would have expected that?
time needed to ensure both projects deliver at the quality our players expect and deserve. We were overly ambitious. Our financial safety margins were subsequently exceeded, and we began running in the red. Okay, there's no way Young doesn't flip out on this and say uh, CEO and leadership bad. Red, basically poor planning, poor leadership, and foresight that was non-existent basically a complete lack of what they're trying to discover now realistic goals and viable financials pete parsons mm. says right here that we did everything we could to avoid today's outcome and i want you to keep this in mind as i share the next bit well that's a lie that's true though bit of information about pete parsons that will really have your stomach churning amidst this is that the 2.3 million cod situation saying here even with the oh, ex no, cars, multiple. exhaustive efforts undertaken across our leadership and product teams to resolve our financial challenges these steps were simply not enough as a result today we must say goodbye to incredible talent colleagues and friends want to know something real funny about pete parsons the kind of money that this guy is making the kinds of expenditures that people have discovered imagine being a CEO actually makes you money. Holy man, Yong, Yong's pretty mad about that because you know Yong, yeah, he's a good guy. He he donates all of his uh, YouTube income to Africa and shit. So, you know. Him make personally that just makes <sighs> the laying off of Bungie employees that much more disgusting. People discovered that... Over the time period following Sony acquisition, Bungie CEO Pete Parsons spent over $2.3 million buying classic cars. This wasn't covered. The oh no, the horror. Guys, it's better never. Better, he should probably just live in the shack, okay? No, 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 no. A shack's too good for a CEO, okay? He should live on the streets. He should be dying of syphilis currently. That that's how a CEO should be. The same day he made a statement saying they laid off 220 employees because the company has been dealing with financial challenges. If there is anything that highlights the disparity between executive pay, especially the captain who is failing the ship, who is leading the ship astray into an iceberg versus the developers who are doing successful work, it's this right here. This guy buys classic cars like one would buy magic cards for a commander deck. So this is something that has been covered by numerous- What a relatable thing. Magic the Gathering is not a non-expensive hobby, okay? If you're playing magic, you're probably not poor. What, what, what a great, what a, what a great way to explain that, Young. What an absolutely tremendously amazing way to explain. Also, let me put this into perspective. Over the time period of this is happening, uh, that means like two-ish, three-ish, maybe years. Let's say just two. You know what? Actually, fuck it. Let's just say one year, okay? I don't know how much this guy is making in salary in a... Actually, maybe I can Google it. Uh, Bungie CEO pay yearly. Okay, at Bungie, most comp uh, comprehensive ex excessive compensate a compensated ex ex executive executive me most compre compensated executive makes a six hundred k annually. Well, that means just he just has things like stock and stuff like that also going in there. Plus, most likely a bonus. So let's say this guy is roughly making. I don't know. For the sake of argument, let's put uh, uh, let's make it like five million or something. You think that's a lot, right? Well, two hundred uh, two hundred people getting fired. You know how much money that is? Add three zeros. That's two million. That's just a monthly expense. And I'm not even gonna this time uh, multiply it by two, which is most likely the accurate sum of money that people are getting because they're developers and shit. So, you know, let's just keep it at 2 million, okay? 2 million per month, which means that these people cost 14 million per year, okay? Him getting paid uh, paid less is probably not even the equivalent of save, uh, saving 1 million a year. That that no, I, yeah, it's it's probably not even the equivalent of him getting uh, 
uh, get it, uh, uh, saving more than like a one or two million a year. But le uh, severing two hundred people, that's that's a minimum, absolute minimum of uh, 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 saving. Uh, how much did I say? Fourteen million. When you put this into perspective, when you actually understand what's happening, you kind of start understanding why, in a lot of cases, CEOs don't actually take uh, take the pay cut. One, it's because they're the CEOs, and why would why the hell would they take the pay cut, right? And second of all, it's not actually saving that much money. <laughs> the The people who cost the most are the people who actually work at the minor roles. That's the reality outlets but the one who uncovered this was twitter user tailored here who's actually someone who works on valorant and it is stated right here bungie lays off 17 percent of its workforce oh and unrelated here's a list of cars the ceo has purchased on bat and going nice. to the website you can see right here that this is in fact pete parsons account and you can see right here Ooh. all the auction wins that we have seen throughout the past few months and years and you can see the kind of money that well this guy really likes classic cops huh that pete parsons is spending on these cars the latest being uh this 1961 chevrolet corvette 283 four speed uh he spent 91,000. i don't even like cars but i think this is nice good for him and five hundred dollars on this on june 1st 2024 over sixty thousand dollars on this car over thirty three thousand on this one two hundred and one thousand dollars on this porsche seventy nine thousand dollars on this and you can show more here and the list just goes on and on when you can be so comfortable with spending money haphazardly like this you know you are why the hell are you assuming that he's spending money haphazardly by the way i i don't i don't i doubt he is like disgusting rich and you have like fuck you money and by the way this is something that the ceo would flaunt at times in front of employees so liana rupert here this uh is a tweet public yeah a lot of ceos flaunt their money well actually the, a lot of people who are rich the xqc is someone who flaunts his money because he has a small dick but Everyone else, uh, there's a lot of people, well not everyone else, but there's a lot of people who are rich and they, they, they're they not actually flaunting their wealth. What the hell are you going to do as a rich person? Go to a secondhand uh, clothes store? No, it's easier to just go to a place that sells expensive shit in your situation. And that's how it happens. Sometimes people are not even flaunting their wealth. He probably is, though. If you're buying those cars, you're definitely flaunting your wealth. But, you know, it's just the point. Anyway, I'm tired of yawning. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Well, let's go, team. Let's go. Stay News tuned and right here on Yong. Yong. Yeah. yeah. I'll see, see you guys Yong. next time. Yong, Yong. Yong out. Beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, that's it. Bye-bye.